secrets in ARM training. The Fat Grips is said to be mostly an ARM dominant training device, but I'm going to use it on all my exercises, chest flies, overhead tricep, and also side laterals. So I'm going to see how it feels across all different types of exercises, and I'll give my conclusion on this, whether or not you should buy them or completely ignore them like I did for the last 10 years. And I'm not trying to sell Fat Grips. I don't have a link or nothing to bought them, and I wanted to make a video about them because I enjoy making videos. They're basically like a thick rubber grip that fits over any dumbbell or barbell, which makes it thicker to hold. And the theory is that it's going to put a lot more stress on the forearms and the arms, which according to Mr. Jay Cutler, means we're going to have jacked arms. According to Charles Poliquin, rest in peace. Back groups are better than anything else I've ever seen. I don't know what else you've seen, but probably a lot because he is a elite Olympic strength coach. This is my first working set. Done two warm-ups. This is uh, 68 kilos in the life fitness chest flies. Straight away, you can feel the pecs engaging more, which is cool. It feels different, I'm not gonna lie. More engagement through the pecs that I normally don't, so this is cool. That was a lot harder. This is surprisingly difficult. The reset has diminished from 16 to 14 to 12 to 10 reps. I'm gonna do my best to get 10, but we'll see what happens. So why after 10 years did I actually buy fat grips? First reason, obviously because four time Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler said that it makes your arms jacked, obviously. Second reason is that over the years I've had a lot of tennis elbow from lifting really heavy on chin ups, on triceps, on biceps, particularly below eight reps, doing that for consecutive months. And I have a hunch that using a thicker grip will improve grip strength, but also take a bit of the tension off these tendons from when we're like fully fully contracted. So I have a hunch it's gonna help prevent long-term golfer's elbow. Now on to the next exercise, we're gonna hit triceps and get back to enjoying Christmas day. I'm expecting this to be quite difficult because uh, it's already on a rope. And I've just squeezed it on 12 and a half kilos that I've done on single tricep overhead. Oh shit, that's heavy. One. chance I'm doing more straight away you can feel the tricep engaging right on and there's like none of this assistance from the grips it's cool I like it so those overhead triceps like they're already feeling pretty cooked and that was more difficult than what I was expecting from these fat grips so yeah, so far it's interesting. The program I wrote for myself is telling me I need to do 15 kilo side raises and I don't know how this is gonna go with the fat grips because it's already super difficult to hold them just normally. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I just, I just took the fat grips off to compare and uh, so much easier without fat grips on the side raises which is interesting because it shows how much forearm and grip engagement is assisting with the side raise. So I'm going to drop the weight which I normally don't do. I feel like my ego has just been physically assaulted because I had to drop to 10 kilos. Someone else is using the 12.5, that's a 5 kilo drop on each arm. The last time I did 10 kilo side raises was a couple of weeks ago and I got 20 reps on 10 kilos. So let's see how many I can get with the fat grips now on 10 kilos. The grip was really starting to slide out towards the end. And I don't know if I want to keep using fat grips on this exercise. Now he's getting a tattoo, yeah, he's getting ink done. He asked for a 13. Oh, I think I might, might take him off for the last set, to be honest. And a bit heavier. 
So I've just bumped the weight back up to 15 kilos, taken off the back ribs, and we're gonna see how many I can get. I was finding my pinky finger was, was actually hurting from like trying to grip so hard. 14 reps, that was about six more than trying to do the same weight with back grips. Based on how my hands and wrist and grip was feeling doing flat side laterals, I probably would prefer not to use back grips with side laterals, just the nature of the movement. I could feel my hands and forearms straining really hard, which I guess is the purpose. However, my delts were not feeling it. That's why I took the grips off. For some people, this might be great if forearm strength is the priority, but for me, I'm trying to build my shoulders. So I want to feel it more in the shoulders, less in the forearm. See a little hack. Having the camera on makes you push harder than what I would normally push. So if you feel like you're not pushing enough, set up your phone, turn it on, and you'll find like this extra five to 10% grit that you maybe don't push out because it's not recorded, no one can see it. Well, I guess no one can see this unless I post it, but knowing the camera's on makes me drive a bit harder than I normally would. Okay, final set. Oh, form begins sloppy. What do I think of the fat groups after my first session? I'm gonna sit down and tell you right now. This is me before using fat groups. stimulated my triceps, my pecs, shoulders in a way that I haven't for a long time and I see that as a positive. Particularly my pecs feel more sore than usual. I'm really liking that. I'm going to persist with these on the triceps and the pecs. However, I'm not going to use them for side laterals. Do I think it'll help golfer's elbow? I actually do. I really think this is going to be helpful just because of the wide grip. It takes a bit of tension off all the tendons and ligaments around the elbow joint. Quite positive if I continue to use this, it will help me prevent golfer's elbow in the future. But also tell me, have you ever used fat grips? Do you like them? What gains have you seen? Pop in a comment. By the way, if you haven't seen my video on Andrew's channel or not, he's natty. Click this here and check out.